Hey everyone, hope you all had a great long weekend and ready for back to school. My name is Renee Aliskis with Team Renee, and this is Market Monday. We're going to discuss Oakville, Burlington, and Hamilton. Before we get into the stats, I just want to go over some takeaways that we noticed over the summer. So the first big takeaway is there was 50% less sales versus 2020. A lot of people thought this year was just on fire. Well, it was good, but last year we actually had more units sold. The second takeaway that we've noticed is that from June to the end of August, there was actually a decrease of inventory from 25 up to 41%. So a lot less inventory versus the previous months. Now, Number three, the big takeaway here for sellers is the market was amazing. So in terms of resale and price, like we, we noticed some big numbers, anywhere from 20 to 35%. And we're gonna get into that right now. We're gonna start with Oakville. So let's jump into Oakville and take a look at how it performed. We noticed that inventory was obviously down from the previous month, uh, 15%. And uh, the big takeaway here is that on the right here on the screen, um, there was 66% less units sold in 2021 versus 2020. So that's a, that's a huge takeaway. In terms of values for homes, Oakville did incredible. As you can see on the screen, the detached market jumped 31% versus the previous year, bringing it up to just over 1.7 million. And the townhouse market hit almost 1.1 million which is 23% increase versus the previous year. The condo market's very healthy, 20, 26% up, and that brings it just over 700,000. So how did Burlington compare to Oakville? Well, let's see. Inventory, again, versus the previous month, we did notice that it dipped uh, about 14%. Uh, similar trend in terms of units sold. So what we notice here is almost 60% less sales versus the previous year, which is just nuts. Now, in terms of value, Burlington did really well. It was still still positive and the detached market went up 20% versus the previous year. So we're hovering around 1,252,000. The townhouse market did go up almost 30% and is, uh, it's, it's around 937,000. The condo market is at 20% and hovering around 575,000. So Burlington, well done. Let's look at Hamilton. Here we see that inventory did not drop too much. It only went down 4% versus the previous month. Uh, but on the right side of the screen here, you notice that there was 42% less sales versus the previous year again. Now, values, detached market did really well. It was up 25% versus the previous year and now hovering just over 706,000. The townhouse market's really healthy and uh, went up 17%. And this is a huge one the condo market went up 35% versus last year, which is just nuts. So that being said, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Every time we do our stats, we have fun. We love to educate and this is what we're all about. If, if there's any questions, DM us or send an email to info at teamrene.ca. We'll be in touch. Have a great week. We'll see you soon and enjoy back to school.